I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Mr. Ruskin, who brings to my attention a curious phenomenon known as neural networks. Apparently, this is a form of machine learning that helps researchers understand how machines process information. In particular, he brings my attention to one researcher named Janelle Shane, who has created one of these neural networks based on my stories. And then she proceeded to feed it instructions to create a recipe. And, and I have the results right here. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 to 32 minutes. Test corners to see if done, as center will seem like the next horror of second house. Whip half a pint of heavy cream. Add four tablespoons of brandy or rum to possibly open things that will never be wholly reported. Cook over a hot grill or over glowing remains of tunnel mouth. With blender on high speed, add ice cubes one at a time, making certain each cube is the end. Dice the pulp of the eggplant and put it in a bowl with the vast stark rocks. Note, as this is a tart rather than a cheesecake, you should be disturbed. This may be one of the most exceptional souffles you'll ever serve. The beef color spreads upward from the noisome great ones. Coat apple slices with strange things. Note, if chocolate sauce is not completely smooth, we became the state of the mad and discovered more desperate tracks and merciful sky. Cook over medium heat until thickened and bubbly. Spoon over bizarre eyes. Now, this was rather delightful in its own macabre way, so I, I reached out uh, to Janelle, and, and she informed me that, yes, sir, she had uh, performed this particular experiment, but that then she had done the reverse and taken a program meant to make recipes and had it write a story in my style. There was thunder in the air on the night I went to the deserted mansion atop Tempest Mountain to find the cake cooked. I was not alone, for foolhardiness was not then mixed with the ham slices. Now and then beneath the brown pall of leaves that rotted and festered in the antediluvian forest darkness, I could trace the sinister outlines of some of the cooking pancakes. For I and I only know what manner of fear looked on a cookie cutter. The pitiful throngs of natives shrieked and whined of the unnameable powder served with the flour and red pepper. Everything seemed to me tainted with a loathsome contagion and inspired by a noxious alliance with the steamed chicken. All was in vain. The death had come, had left no trace save the steamed red peppers and chicken broth. Sometimes, in the throes of a nightmare, when unseen powers whirl one over the roofs of strange dead cities towards the grinning chasm of Nice, it is a release, and even a delight, to make the soup. So it seems, if we are to face a future where the machines replace us, it's not nearly as bad as it could be. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.